Tisaki with a blue futon in. in the Netflix world, in the digital world, there's a movie called Lost Bullet. Didn't know it came out. You know, you just sometimes you're just scrolling through Netflix and number six in the US was Lost Bullet. Hour and a half looks like action movie. Why not try it? Is it worth your time though? So Lost Bullet, what's it about? Was well, about a mechanic. Really good mechanic. And he is in jail, of course. But a cop says, you know what? We need your help to make sure our cop cars can catch these criminals. And we're going to get you out of jail. And you're going to be part of my team. So, you know, a couple months later, he's part of the team. He has to go in and out of jail. You know, he's in the jail for the night. And then during the day, he is not in jail. He's helping these cops do their missions as well as making sure their cars are A-OK. Spick and span, fast as hell. But one of the cops that releases him gets killed and now this guy has got to run from the cops and try to prove his innocence that he did not kill this guy so what i like about this movie first off you're like hmm what's this uh where's this what's the origin of the country of this movie well if you just look at the license plate as living in europe before it's france because that's the problem with netflix movies like this i'll just put it that way i prefer movies with subtitles if it's from france i want to hear the french dialogue and have the subtitles in english but it seems like netflix doesn't give you that option i've noticed that I think it's kind of a really big bummer because I just prefer that route of, you know, hearing the native language of what the movie is coming from or where the movie is coming from. But, you know, that's a small little nitpick. But this is a short hour and a half, lean, crisp movie. Let's put it that way. This is like if Fast and the Furious wasn't CGI with a little bit less of the Fast and the Furious. I know that doesn't make any sense. But this is a simple movie about a guy trying to prove his innocence. So when it comes to the acting of this movie, it is very good acting, very good action. And what I like about this movie, there's literally no CGI from what I could tell with my eyes. This is all real action, real set pieces, and real cars flipping. And that's what I enjoy with this movie and what movies like this do. I just prefer realism. You know you have the Fast and Furious cars jumping through buildings. You're like, okay, let's well, get some real realism like Fast Five, the Brazil one. Perfect. But it keeps going like overboard of submarines and everything like that. But this one just keeps on a low level of a guy trying to prove his innocence with these dirty cops and bad guys. And that's why I love movies like this. It is lean, crisp, to the point, no BS. We know what we're getting. But I say the problem with this movie is the trailer shows way too much. Not because of the storyline, but the action. With this movie, an hour and a half, there is a good amount of hand-to-hand -hand combat. And some okay amount of car chases. Even though this is like a car chase movie, there's only one really big car chase scene. It's the last 20 minutes of the movie. And the trailer showed most of the stuff that's in that last 20 minutes, which is a real bummer. Then for the hand-to-hand -hand combat, it is really smart. It, you feel the punches. You feel like this guy is trying to fight these cops as well as these cops. This is not clean fighting of like, you know, you land on every punch. You are landing every kick no this is dirty this is you're gonna miss you're gonna mess up you're gonna try to run away but you can't but you got to find scenarios to get out of each scenario by using laptop by using pepper spray which the pepper spray scene is actually very ingenious and pretty cool but overall last bullet or sorry lost bullet it is on netflix right now i recommend it if you want a good clean crisp movie from beginning to end where it goes really quick the story makes sense, the action makes sense, and it's just a fun time, but there are some problems. Don't watch the trailer like I did. I'm still going to fault the movie for that because that kind of ruined the movie experience for me, and it is a ho-hum movie. You have seen it before, but it works for what it's trying to show its audience. So Lost Bull will receive a 3.5 out of 5 with futons because that's 70%. So see the critics' new scores gave this one. So you have the critics. It says no critic consensus and no audience score. And it's called Lost Bullet and it's called Ballet Perdu. I'm probably saying that so wrong. But that's my so-called French. So, but we do have three critics at the bottom and they're all positive. And I don't see the score except for one of them, a 3 out of 4. So that is a, what's it, 3 out of 4, guys? Do this some quick math. 80%. So not, is it 80? No, that's 75. I'm dumb. That's 75. So, <laughs> so I gave it a 70, but right now critics are at 100%. So do you agree with the 100, 70, or nothing there yet? Chase out the blue futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One of the things is Bluetooth Topia. You Bluetonians, thank you for watching. 
Have a great day. Peace and love. Peace and love. There's just way too much stuff out there, guys. There really is. You're just like in Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Disney Plus. It's so much more. And then theaters are finally opening up slowly. Uh, and all these movies on the wall. Will it ever stop? No, I hope it doesn't. Thank <laughs> you.